Richard Feynman was one of the most extraordinary scientists of the 20th century. As a brilliant physicist, he pioneered an entirely new area of his subject. He discovered a new law of nature. Only a very few people did that. The most numerically precise physical theory ever invented. Yet he scorned the Nobel Prize he received for this work. I've already got the prize. The prize is the pleasure of finding a thing out, the kick in a discovery. Feynman's brilliance helped shape history. As a young man, he helped to build the atom bomb, ending the Second World War. And yet, throughout his life, Feynman rejected authority and refused to conform, preferring instead to follow his passions from bongo playing to biology, from poetry to painting, from computing to cracking safes, Feynman's fascination with the world knew no bounds. And in his dying days as a maverick investigator on the Challenger shuttle disaster, he confronted the Washington establishment to reveal the truth about what went wrong. The stuff that I got out of your seal and I put it in ice water. Above all, Feynman's infectious enthusiasm for life captivated millions of readers and viewers. Feynman's been a showman pretty much his whole life. Any room he walked into, everyone is looking at him. He was the center of attention. Electrons behave exactly the same in this respect as photons. That is, they're both screwy, but in exactly the same way. <laughs> Here, in his own words and those of the people who knew him best, this is the story of the most captivating communicator in the history of science. But you gotta stop and think about the complexity, the inconceivable nature of nature. <laughs>